The One World Media Radio and Audio Award is given for an audio feature, podcast, or single programme from a series that examines issues or covers a story in a developing country. Let's hear a clip from each of the nominees. Mongolian Desert, Middle of the Summer. Mohla byste mi říct, co odzut je? A co to za to je? A to je perlin, to je přírodní úkaz, který se vrací periodicky. Co to je? Když není tráva dost vysoká, ve chvíli, kdy napadne více Když není tráva dost vysoká, ve chvíli, kdy napadne více sněhu, než kam ta tráva sahá, tak to je dzut. Znamená to, že dobytek se nemůže napást. A protože lidé dnes mají dobytka hodně, tak pak pomře a životní podmínky pastevců se zhorší. Vzpomínáte si, kdy byl takový největší zůt, na který si pamatujete? Když mi bylo pět let, v roce 1980, to byl opravdu strašný zůt. Napadlo hrozně moc sněhu. Celý jurty byly zasněžený. Celý zimoviště bylo zapadaný sněhem a vyhrabávali jsme ze sněhu dobytek. To bylo strašný. Nigeria's patient prisoners. I was in the hospital ward, so they didn't allow me to go out. So they just kept you in that small space the whole time. Yeah. So while you were in the hospital, what were you doing? I'm not doing anything. I just wake up in the morning, bath my baby. I'll be sleeping. They're not doing anything. Mm-mm. Chiamaka says that in the ward, there was a door leading to the rest of the hospital and another entrance with bars across it facing the outside world. That's where she spent most of her time, behind the railings. I stand there. Whenever somebody passes, I'll call the person and tell the person my situation. The number one ladies' landmine agency. We are 10 women working and our mission is to clear Western Sahara of landmines, bombs and mortars. You could call us the number one ladies landmine agency. We can really be seen as breaking a lot of stereotypes uh, around Muslims and Arabs, especially the social, cultural and religious stereotypes of the veiled, subjugated Arab woman. I am proud of being Saharawi. Proud, yes, but as we will see, Minatu and the team face significant challenges running a landmine clearance operation in this most hostile environment in Africa's last colony. Faced with the perceived threat of Moroccan aggression, United Nations inertia and perhaps some little skepticism within their own community. What a great medium radio is. Please welcome Graham Dixon, head of radio at the European Broadcasting Union, to present the award. Thank you. Um, Diversity is, of course, one of the key values of the European Broadcasting Union. We're a very diverse organization, and we're really delighted to be associated with this award because we believe strongly that all journalists should have the time, resources, and freedom to cover stories from around the world in depth. Without well-informed, impartial, transparent reporting, our view of the world is diminished, and we just fall back on our prejudices. The programs we listened to were all remarkable in taking listeners on an in-depth visit to places most of us will never experience personally. And in doing so, they enriched and broadened our view of the world, giving us a clearer picture and developing our empathy. And I'll just end by quoting from the EBU Declaration on Public Service Media Values, which are so like the values that we're celebrating this evening. We support and seek to give voice to a plurality of competing views from those with different backgrounds, histories, and stories. We want to help build a more inclusive, less fragmented society. So it gives me great pleasure to open this envelope and plan a short pause. And the winner is Nigeria's Patient Prisoners. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you very much. This is amazing. Um, yeah, this is great. Um, well, firstly, thank you to Linda and Bridget, my amazing colleagues, and um, thank you to One World Media, and also to the BBC Lagos Bureau, who we collaborated with on this, and particularly to the local producer, Chimezi Ucheabu, who was an absolutely amazing colleague to work with. And thank you to Rod Farkar, who mixed this programme very, very beautifully for us. Um, and I suppose I just give like a couple of updates on the reception that this programme's got since it went out. Um, one is from Nigeria's health minister, who sort of quite surprisingly to us quite liked the programme, we didn't really expect that, and sent us a million thanks and said that he is going to use it as an advocacy tool to try and stop this, um, this phenomenon where women, and well mainly women, but people are kept in hospitals because they haven't paid their hospital bills. So he said he's going to use it as an advocacy tool and try and develop a system of comprehensive health insurance for Nigerians. So, well, let's see if that happens. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll be watching out for developments on that. And um, so, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.